Okay, let's get started. Welcome to Com 100's live chat product tour. My name is Matthew Jinks. I'm the product marketing manager here at Com 100, and I'll be your host and chauffeur as I take you on a guided tour of Com 100 live chat. This product tour is broken up into different chapters, and each chapter focuses on a different aspect of our live chat product. Each segment should last around seven to eight minutes, and I wanna make it clear before we get going that this product tour is just an overview, and I'm not gonna be covering everything that I could. We built a really powerful tool with a lot of depth, so this is by no means an exhaustive list of everything that's in our product. If you wanna go deeper, we offer personalized demos, and to schedule one, please email us at let's chat at com100.com or chat with us on our website. This installment of uh, the Com100 live chat product tour will be focused on what it's like to use Com100 for a website visitor. We'll be taking a look at how flexible our live chat product can be when it comes to appearance and visitor side functionality. So let's dive in. Okay, so everything about the appearance and functionality of your live chat deployment is customizable on the visitor side. We developed our product so that it can be easily made to match your brand and deliver an experience which maps onto your specific use case. Now I'm going to show you a few examples of what I mean here. What you're looking at is a copy of the Common 100 homepage, at least a portion of it, and along the bottom you see three chat buttons and when I click on them I'm going to get three very different chatting experiences. Let's start with the chat buttons. In the bottom right is our standard adaptive chat button, which we think looks great. It's the one we deploy on our own website. In the middle, we have this green button, which says, let's chat. It's actually a static image-based button, which is great if you want to use a logo or something. And in the bottom left, I have created a button using a GIF. I'm not sure I would want something like this, but I wanted to show you how creative you can get with these chat buttons. You can also place the button wherever you want along your page. It doesn't even have to be a button at all. It could be a text link, which reads something like, let's chat. The next thing I want to focus on here is our proactive chat invitations. Visitors who engage in live chat are about 40% more likely to convert, so the more chats you have, the more business you're likely to do, at least on the sales side. On the support side, it can be worth it to let your customers know that chatting is an option, especially when they're on your site and they're looking for ways to get personalized customer service. In the bottom right, you can see one of our proactive chat invitations right now. And the important thing to note here is that you decide when and why these appear. And this is because Com100 tracks everyone on your website, what page they're on, if they're an existing customer, etc. And you can use that data to target specific visitors with contextual messages. For example, you could set up an invitation which reaches out to visitors who have items in their shopping cart that says, need help checking out, which could be great at mitigating shopping cart abandonment. Or you could create specific invitations for articles in your knowledge base. If someone is on a page dedicated to billing issues, why not hit them with a timely you know, talk to me about billing issues invitation. Next, I want to show you some chat windows. So similar to our chat buttons, we offer a lot of flexibility and customization in terms of window design. And I've got a few examples here to show you. I'm going to click on this middle one here first, which leads to a pop-out window. This might be a good option if you want to separate your chat experience from your web browsing experience. I'm just going to close this one up here. Okay, stop chatting, yes. And the next one I wanted to show you was customized using CSS to make the window completely transparent, which is kind of neat, I thought. Uh, obviously, there's a tremendous amount that you can do with CSS, so the possibilities here are endless. I'm just going to end this one as well. Okay. And last but not least, we have our standard chat window, which is what you would get if you did absolutely no customization at all. Okay, so when we click on this window, we're actually required to fill out a pre-chat form before we start the conversation. Pre-chat forms are completely customizable. You can make them as long or as short as you'd like. And you can select from a number of different field types, including text, drop-down, radio buttons, etc. Now, pre-chat is actually a really powerful tool for a few reasons that I'll talk about. They allow you to route chats effectively. You can see in the bottom here, I have a field called inquiry type. And depending on what I select there, it might mean that a different agent or department is, is suited to pick up my chat. And you can set that up within COM100. It can also automate the tedious information collection that agents usually have to go through. Uh, as having a pre-chat form can save your agents from having to ask the same questions over and over again and allow them to get right to the heart of a visitor's specific need. 
The last thing it allows you to do is unlock your customer's entire profile. Uh, through integration, COM100 can automatically match the information given in a pre-chat form with fields within a CRM or customer database. This means your agents will have access to so much relevant information on who a person is, what service interactions they've had in the past, and what products they might, interested, be, might be interested in in the future. It can also save your customers for having to give the same pieces of information they've already provided in previous service interactions. Okay, let's start the chat. So, chatting using COM100 should be familiar to anyone who's used any other modern chat or messaging interface. We try to keep things simple and intuitive. And our window is completely responsive, so no matter what device someone is chatting on, they're going to have a great chatting experience using COM100. I'm just going to respond to MJ here. Hello, I'm just testing. There we go. But there are a few things I wanted to highlight about our chat window. Uh, in the bottom right, we have this little paperclip icon, which allows you to share files with agents. This could be a receipt or a screenshot, something which might help save an agent time in diagnosing your particular issue. Sometimes it's easier to show someone what's going on rather than tell someone what's going on. And you can also click these dots on the top here, which unlock a few more features, one of which is the ability to email yourself a copy of the transcript of the conversation. Sometimes an agent might give you detailed instructions on how to do something and you want to save those for later so they are there for reference or maybe you're going to encounter the same issue again and, and you just have that transcript that you can refer to. And when I'm done chatting, I can just hit this X in the top right hand corner to end the chat. And what I have next here is a post chat survey. In this case, we have our standard five star rating system in a comments box. However, much like our pre-chat survey, the contents of this are completely customizable, and this allows you to track the metrics that are most important to your business, including net promoter score. The comments section also serves as a great feedback tool and helps you identify specific ways in which your service quality can be improved. I'm just going to fill this out, give five stars. Okay, so before we wrap up, I wanted to talk about your options for when your team is offline. Let's say you have agents online between 9 and 5, Monday to Friday. So what happens at 7 p.m. on a Saturday? You can always make your chat button disappear completely, but if you want to keep track of inbound service requests, you can always offer our offline message feature. Offline messages are emailed to your team and can be followed up on later when your team comes back online, and it's a great way to give your customers an outlet for their feedback, even when it can't be tended to in that moment. So I hope that's given you a taste of the kinds of things you can do in terms of customization and some of the functionality we offer on the visitor side of live chat. There are lots of other features I could have shown you, but we only have a short time here today. If you're interested in seeing a more complete demonstration of our platform, please reach out to us at letschat at com100.com or uh, chat with us on our website. Uh, that's all for now. Talk to you in the next installment of our Com100 live chat product tour. Okay, welcome to the next installment of the COM100 live chat product tour. In this chapter, we're going to take a look at what it's like to use COM100 as a live chat agent. We're going to dive into our agent console, and I'm going to show you some of the tools we offer agents that allow them to deliver great customer service via live chat. Once again, this segment of our product tour is expected to last about eight minutes or so. And with that, let's get to it. So what we're looking at here is the agent console. This is what your agents are going to see when they log in. Just a quick overview here on the left, we have a few tabs. All of these tabs are for different digital channels. Remember, COM100 does a lot more than just chat, except actually for this bottom one here, which is the agents tab. When you click on this one, you can see which other agents are online and chat with other agents in real time. Above is our ticketing tab for case management via email. And above that is our social and SMS tab where you can manage inbound messages to your corporate SMS and social media accounts. But today we're going to be focusing on these top two tabs here, the My Chats tab and the Visitors tab. So as you can see, I'm currently within our Visitors tab. This is a real-time view into everyone that's on my website. Since this is a demo account, I only have one person on the site. And if I look here, I can get a bunch of different pieces of information about this one visitor. I can see the country where they are located. I can see their name and email address, which was collected when they filled out the pre-chat form. I can see the agent which is handling the chat. I can also see the web page that they're currently on and the page that they were referred from. Lastly, I can see the number of times they've been on my site and how many chats they've had in the past. 
I can take it even further by clicking on the details button. Here I can get even more information and I can even access transcripts from the past, which might give me context during our upcoming chat. One more thing I wanted to highlight before we start chatting is this red icon that says VIP when I hover over it. This tells me that this person belongs to a predefined customer segment. This person got this designation by meeting a set of predefined qualifications that were configured by an admin. And you can use these segmentations to separate your website visitors into meaningful categories and to let your agents know who they should be focusing their attention on. In this case, this is a VIP, so my manager will probably want me to give this person the white glove treatment. So let's hop into the actual chat. I can see that I've already been sent a message. So this is the My Chats tab. This is where the magic happens and where you have live chat conversations. Just a brief overview, on the left here we have our ongoing chats column. This is where you can see all of your chats and hop between conversations. On the top here, I can see some additional visitor info, like a person's browser and the fact that they have a record in my Salesforce CRM. In the middle is our chat interface, which I'll demonstrate here in a second. And on the right here, we have our extension, which is our agent toolbox. This is where you can access all of the different resources you need to deliver effective and timely customer service. You can even bring in third-party apps so agents aren't always having to flip between screens, and I'll show you that as well here in a sec. So let's respond to this conversation. Matthew's asking me about live chat. No problem. What do you want to learn? And when I send this message, a little blue dot appears, which tells me that Matthew has not read the message yet. And when this disappears, I know that he's seen it. Okay, so it looks like Matthew has read the message. I can expect a response. And next we can see that he's typing a response and I can actually preview what he's typing before he sends it. And this can be helpful if he's gonna send me a difficult problem and I wanna get a head start on things. So he says, I'm having trouble with live chat do you have a best practice guide or something? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the right to my toolbox and I'm gonna take a look at that Salesforce record that I mentioned before. Maybe that has some context that might be relevant in this case. So I can see all the lead fields that are associated with this person. On the bottom here, I can see that he's an existing customer with 10 seats purchased and he's on a business license. That might be useful. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the left, I'm gonna highlight this text and I'm gonna search my knowledge base for this best practice guide. And it's a good thing that I looked at that Salesforce record because I can see that I have three editions of my live chat guide, one for teams, one for business, and another for enterprise. And I know that he's on a business license, so I'm gonna to wanna to go with that one. Once I click on it, I can preview the article and then I can just click again here to send it out. So I'm gonna do that. Does that help? Great. So you can see how the tabs on the right can be a great way to bring everything together and allow your agents to focus on their conversations. I'll show you one more example here. Matthew has asked me about recovering his password. So what I can do in this case is make use of our can message feature. And I have one here for password reset ready to go. Can messages are pre-scripted responses for frequently asked questions and having them available in a couple clicks can make common requests a lot quicker and make things a lot less tedious for your agents. Okay, so we only have a limited amount of time here today, but I did want to focus on one of the more advanced features of COM100, and that's automatic translation. And what that is, is the ability of COM100 to detect the language that a visitor is speaking in and offer the agent the ability to translate their conversation in real time. So in this case, Matthew has switched to French and COM100 has picked up on that. I'm gonna to respond to him and say, would you like to continue in French instead? And when I send that, it will display to my visitor in French. And on the agent side, I can see my English message along with the French translation. And when Matthew actually responds in French, it will then be translated in English so that I can read it. This is a really powerful tool, especially if you serve a multilingual customer base. Since your agents only have to speak one language, yet they can offer service in over 90 languages. Okay, so before we wrap up here, I wanted to focus on a couple more tools we have within the Agent Console. 
The first is our agent collaboration tools. We allow admins and other agents to pass notes and monitor the ongoing conversations of other agents. And this might be done for quality control or another agent might have some really meaningful context to add. I can see here that my boss Jeff has sent me a message saying Matt is a really good guy, treat him well. I think I've been treating him okay so far. And the last thing I wanted to talk about, just going to end this chat here, is agent wrap up. Agent wrap up is the way that agents can summarize and categorize a conversation that just happened. Like our other surveys, you can customize what goes into this. And in this case, I only have two fields to fill out. I'm expected to give a category which might be useful for tracking and reporting on the kinds of interactions that are happening over live chat. And I can also add my own commentary to this, which might be useful for the next agent who chats with this person. So I'm just adding that here. I'm going to hit save. Great. So I hope I've whetted your appetite to see more. There are many live chat features I didn't touch on, including co-browsing, video chat, and audio chat. If those things interest you, or if you're interested in seeing our other products, please reach out to us at letschat at com100.com, or chat with us on our website to schedule your own personalized walkthrough of COM100. And that's it for me and this installment of the COM100 live chat product tour. Okay, hello, let's get started here. Welcome to this installment of the COM100 live chat product tour. This chapter will be focusing on the COM100 control panel. And over the next eight or nine minutes or so, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the ways that you can customize your live chat to look, feel, and function in a way that makes sense for your business and in a way that lets you get the most value out of live chat. This is where the groundwork gets laid for great customer experience through chat and the true power of our product is stored. So when you log into COM100, this is what you're going to see. This is the dashboard, and it's a real-time view into everything that's happening in your live chat world. As you can see, not much is happening in mine right now, but some of the stuff that you can look at here is how many agents are in chats, how long your queue length is, how many people are on your website right now, etc. And on the left, you can see there's a lot of different tabs to choose from. Uh, so today, I'm not going to take you through each one. Rather, I'm going to demonstrate how you can ensure your chats are getting routed to the agents best suited to handle them. So depending on how your organization is structured, you might have different teams or different departments on chat. And depending on who someone is and what they're looking to chat about, you want to make sure that the agent who picks up the chat is the person who's actually suited to handle that inquiry. Everyone has had the experience, especially over phone, of being tossed around between different departments before they get to talk to someone who can actually help them. And with COM100, you can make this experience a thing of the past. So in this case, I'm going to start by setting up my departments. And I'm going to start here because I want to separate my team into different groups based on the conversations I want them to handle. In this case, I'm doing it by business unit. I have a support department, a sales department, and a marketing department. And this is a pretty common way of doing things. But I could easily be doing this by geography. So if I had a separate team in Spain, I could give them their own department, or maybe I have a tier two customer care team, and that might be another good use case of departments. In this menu, I can easily see the agents in these departments, and if I go in and edit one of these departments, I can add or remove existing agents as well. So I'm just gonna get out of here. Okay. The next thing I'd wanna do after I'd set up my departments is configure my campaigns. Now, campaigns are a common hundred feature that allows you to change the way your live chat looks and functions depending on where it's deployed on your website. And in this case, I've got separate campaigns for each one of my departments, and you can imagine this making sense. The purpose and needs around chat are gonna be significantly diff different for a support department versus a sales department. So some of the customization that's available to me at the campaign level is changing the way my chat button looks, changing the way my chat window looks, I can even change the contents of my pre-chat survey. You know, my support team is probably gonna want different questions answered before a chat begins than my sales team would. Or if I had different language versions of my website, I wanna make sure that my pre-chat survey is actually in the language of the people who are going to be asked to fill it out. I can also configure the way that my proactive chat invitations work. For my sales campaign, I'm probably gonna to wanna to utilize proactive chat to fuel conversations around buying behavior and conversions. 
And for my support team, I might use proactive chat to intercede when someone is having problems. So you can easily configure different rules and different messages here for each one of your campaigns. But today we're interested in this tab, the routing rules tab. Each campaign has its own unique set of routing rules. And in this case, my campaigns mirror my departments. So it would be fairly simple to create routing rules, which just direct every chat that comes through my support campaign to my support department. But we can get so much more granular than that with our custom routing rules. And I'll show you what I mean here. So what's important to note is that we cook your visitors and monitor them in real time. And we can use this browsing data to route chats effectively. So we could create a rule which says, Anyone who lands on my pricing page, regardless of campaign, I want them to be handled by my sales department. Or another rule which says, even if someone is on my English version of my website, if they're coming in from Spain, I want them going to my Spanish-speaking department. I can also use data collected from my pre-chat survey to route chats. And I can even bring in data from third-party apps and use that to route chats. In this case, I have an integration with Salesforce that lets me use fields within that as part of my routing rules. Maybe I want to create one which says, if someone comes in from a key account, I want to make sure they are put in touch with their account manager directly. So you can see how complex this can get. But for my use case, I don't have to get that complex. I'm just going to change this so that chats are no longer going directly to me in the support department. They're actually going to the whole team. So select the support department, hit save, we're good to go. Okay, so now that I have my department set up, I have a campaign set for each one of those departments, and I have routing rules within each one of my campaigns. I can be sure that when someone comes and chats on my website, that they're going to be routed to the right department. But how do I set up how those chats are distributed within those departments? That's where our auto allocation feature comes into play. If you have departments with 10, 20, or 1,000 agents, you're going to want to make use of chat allocation. And we have three different ways of doing that. First, we can do it through load balancing, which ensures an even distribution among chat agents. Round robin, which says I get a chat, then the next agent, and then the next agent. Or we can do it through capability weighting, which distributes chats to agents based on their individual chat concurrency. And I'll show you how to configure that in a second. You can even have it so the last agent a visitor chatted with is preferred over others. This is great for maintaining customer experience continuity and for making sure that agents with the most context are the ones handling the conversation. Beyond that, you can set up backup departments, which can take over when a department can't take any more chats. Sometimes when a team is completely slammed, it can be worth it to let visitors chat with a different department instead of forcing them to wait in the queue. Finally, as I mentioned before, I can configure the individual chat capacity for my agents below here. Let's say Kay is a brand new agent and I will only want her handling half the chats of my more experienced agents. I can easily set that up right here. Okay, so simple as that. I've configured everything in a way that I'm confident that when customers go to chat on my website, they're gonna get an agent that's capable of handling their specific inquiry. That was a pretty simple use case for our product and there's a lot more here. And I hope I teased at some of that within this demo. But before I go, I wanted to talk about one more thing. This is the overall COM100 tech stack. This series is completely live chat focused, but that's just one piece of the overall picture here at COM100. We also offer channel-based solutions for ticketing, SMS, and social media. We offer a knowledge management product. We have our own AI-based intelligent assistants, including chatbots, and our new agent assist product. All of these tools are brought together within our unified agent console. So if you're interested in seeing any of these solutions, or if you just want to go deeper on live chat, please reach out to us at letschat at com100.com or chat with us on our website. That's all for now, and I hope you enjoyed this installment of the Com100 Live Chat product tour.